So and the a, Chevy Equinox is practical. It gets the job done. Gets the job done. You are the Chevy Equinox. I'm the Chevy Equinox. All right, we're cruising in the 2020 Chevy Equinox. I like this car. It's a very nice. Uh, it's a very nice ride. We're gonna go get a coffee because, of course, this is City and Cars getting coffee. Sounds good to me. So we're gonna grab one of those and get to know you a little bit. Um, you're a Buffalo kid, and the most exciting news of the past like decade for anyone from Buffalo is that the Buffalo Bills are going to the playoffs. That's right. And I have to imagine that you are a fiery fiery supporter of the Buffalo Bills. 100%. On some level, you're probably a member of Bills Mafia. I'd like to think so. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to go to as many games as I would have liked in the past couple years. Yeah. But the ones I have, yes, I've gotten pretty rowdy with Bills Mafia. Did you jump through a table? I was not one of the people that jumped through the table. Uh, have I witnessed it? Absolutely. Um, I wanted to keep some brain cells as well as not break any bones. But let me tell you this much. Buffalo is making an absolute killing on selling, selling just, just tables. Plastic tables. I mean, tables. it's just, it's just game over. What a like, time to be alive when the plastic table business is booming in Buffalo. It's I booming. Mean. Your mom, Ginny. Yep. Is a, she is a, a super mom. That would be an understatement. Okay, tell me why that would be an understatement. Well, let me just, let me just start by saying your mom is uh, she's got a great social media presence. She loves UCFC. Oh, is she in the locker room at halftime passing out orange slices? You would think so, right? I, I think she would take that job in a heartbeat. What do you think, like, does she, she comes to all the games, right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, unless she has work or, you know, my little brother obviously had, uh, when he was in college, a few games, so they would they would make it out to the, uh, his games. So if they couldn't make mine, which it was very limited on the amount of games they couldn't make, but, uh, you know, every game that's usually in Utica, they're always there. They got season tickets, so they, they don't miss it for anything. How about a coffee? Absolutely. Coffee. What would you like? Liam, if you could have dinner with one famous person, dead or alive, doesn't matter, who would you sit down and break bread with? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm going to go with Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. The actress. The actress. Right? From uh, Crazy Stupid Love, yeah. Easy A. Uh-huh. Uh, what else is she in? Uh, she's got a couple other movies. Um, now, are you picking Emma Stone because you're trying to capitalize on this whole? I'm giving you the option to go out to dinner, but it, you're gonna you're gonna shoot your shot as if this is a date. One hundred percent. Okay. She is she is the dream woman for me, and if I get one shot, I think you know at least maybe there's a little piece of her that might say, hey, you know what? I could see myself with this guy. You know, here we are shooting our shot on City and Cars getting coffee. How is your coffee, by the way? It's a little hot. Uh, I think the first sip I actually may have burned my mouth. So, uh, you know, that's been a, a fun little process going on here. Do you think you have a favorite swear word? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say there's one I use more than, than the rest. Sure. You, you want me to just, sure, just you say, can it? say it? I mean, it's for sure. That's a, that seems like the, seems like a, now you, you play with a uh, fiery intensity that is unmatched oh, if we're being honest. Yeah, you. Me? Yeah, you. Are you sure, are and you, sure I wonder, you got the right guy? Yeah. I wonder, uh, um, do you th even think before you just start swearing or do you just go for it? It's kind of natural at this point. Um, <laughs> it's a second language. It's a second language. Yeah, bilingual, and but it's not really that impressive. I'd probably have to thank my father for that one. Oh, your uh, dad. Oh yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's definitely passed that trade on to me. I asked for a pair of boots since I do not have any winter boots and I'm sick and tired of walking around with wet shoes as well. Okay, you're from Buffalo. I you, am from Buffalo. You, you, you went to college, most of college, in Syracuse. Yep. You currently live in Syracuse uh, and you play soccer in Utica and you don't have a pair of boots. Let's just say uh, it wasn't very high up on my priority list. And here uh, I was calling you functional and practical, like the Chevy Equinox. Yeah, listen. And now I'm starting to think that you're not. <laughs> when I have my mom around me, probably, yeah. But uh, we've we've been uh, you know distanced for a little while, so I'm trying to figure that out. 
on my own now. Not having Mama Bear around no more. So a pair of boots for Christmas. That's all you asked for? And a uh, Arsenal jersey, which, you know, is uh, is something I wish I maybe didn't ask for nowadays because they are atrocious. Not a good time to be an Arsenal fan. Not whatsoever. How do you stumble upon indoor soccer? Well, how does that work? You just one day you kick a ball off a wall and you're like, oh, that actually, that felt right. Yeah, right. Uh, I think, you know, growing up, especially, you know, in the Buffalo and upstate New York area, you know, indoor soccer was a, a huge thing just because of the weather and stuff. But it was actually, Ben Raymond reached out to me, I want to say maybe a month or two before the season started and said, hey man, like, you know, uh, what's going on? Just just wanted to let you know if you, you were interested in playing indoor soccer, you know, we'd love to have you out, maybe get a trial going and stuff like that. So, you know, I didn't really have much else going on in my life. So I said, why not? Right. Um, and that kind of led me to, to where I am now. Uh, so we can thank Ben Raymond for that. Thanks, as Ben well Raymond. As for the other night of winning the game for us. Right. That's, <laughs> That's right, right, Benny. What a hero. Ben Raymond. Burn my mouth.